this is your brother again, brother teacher. I want to uh, make this statement before I get into the body of uh, this particular message. Um, I want to say that I know that there are people out there that don't want to hear someone tell the masses of us the truth concerning a lot of things that we have been ignorant to and have not been privy to over the several decades that we have been alive. And that's more specifically on the subject matter of health and wellness, and especially in this particular video, cancer and disease. We don't have to have cancer, nor do we have to have any types of diseases. Cancer makes money for corporations, and so do all other diseases. There's money in being sick. We have to learn to wrap our brains around this as being a reality. This is not conjecture. I'm not making this up. This is a cold hard fact. Cancer can be eradicated if you change your lifestyle. It can. I am not the only person touting this on YouTube. There are men and, and women that are doctors, that are uh, naturopaths, and that are uh, homeopaths, and the list goes on. There are doctors that have been kicked out of the medical industry, American Medical Association, and who have uh, been labeled as quacks because they start talking about alternative methods to healing uh, common diseases and even cancer. Let's understand this. Our bodies were made by the Creator perfectly. He didn't make a mistake. He equipped us with the ability internally to eradicate all conditions that we would encounter naturally. Note that I said naturally. Our body fights off cancer cells every single day. So it's a normal happening within the human body. But what happens is that the cancer cells can run amok. In other words, they can multiply too fast because of our lifestyle, i.e. eating processed foods, foods that are laden with chemicals and GMOs and all of these additives and preservatives and things that are not friendly to the human body. That is where cancer comes from. And what happens is that our body is overwhelmed with the toxicity in the air and the water that we drink and the food that we eat and the things that we wash our clothing in and things that we wash our bodies in. All of these things that are full of all of these factory chemicals. Not to mention the chemtrails and all the various other uh, things that cause toxic conditions within our environment and, and uh after a period of time in our bodies as well. Excuse me for that. But now, how can you eradicate these uh, detriments to the human existence? It's not as easy as saying it, but we have to start right here. We have to start with ourselves. First of all, we have to come to the realization that virtually Every aspect of our lives involves toxins. It's just the reality of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I've already forestated factories, automobiles, machinery, equipment, things that are used in industry are always spewing out toxins in the air. We're inhaling, ingesting, and absorbing these toxins. Not to mention the things that are in our homes. When people walk into the house and they track all kinds of toxic material on their shoes, onto the carpets on the inside, and then you have allergy issues and so forth. And then you have your house closed in, you don't get any fresh air. And we don't open the windows up anymore like in the old days. And we're already in this compacted situation where everything that's toxic inside the house from the refrigerator running 24 seven, turning your oven on, turning your stove on, be it electric or gas or otherwise, the blue light that comes from your television, from your uh, cell phones, the radiation that comes from your microwave, that comes from your cell phone, that comes from your laptops, and all of the other equipment and all of the things that you use inside your homes that involve energy 
energy being used. All of that toxic material is inside the house and we are absorbing it. You follow me so far? If we can learn how to limit those things as much as possible, if not at all, just get rid of it totally, we'd be doing good. But we can control a lot of it. We can control people wearing shoes in our home, stop them at the door, take your shoes off. We can control what we buy in the grocery store, making sure that it's purely 100% organic. And if we can't find totally organic food the way that we want to, we need to start considering growing our own vegetables, our own food. We need to make sure that we have filters on our faucets. The water that we drink, the water that we bathe in, and even boil the water when necessary to make sure that we're killing a lot of the pesticides that's in that, all of the chemicals that's in that, all of the uh, live organ, excuse me, organisms and, and bacteria that's in our drinking water because it does come from our local water source, a municipality if you will. If we can control that by less bottled water because of BPA, bisphenol A, try to cook our foods in natural vessels such as all stainless steel and not aluminum pans or pots. Try to use earthenware, mugs that are made out of pottery or clay if you will. Drinking out of glasses as opposed to plastic cups, plastic containers. Stop boiling our food in plastic bags. That's BPA and other chemicals again that's leaching into our food source and we're ingesting that and it's causing cancer again. Did I say too much or did I not say enough? Again, we don't have to have cancer. Understand this. If you've been diagnosed with cancer and if you want to avoid having cancer if you don't have it, Understand that cancer, one of the things that cancer thrives on is sugar. Eliminate the sugar, especially the processed sugar from your diet. If you're going to eat fruit, try to eat it in the middle of the day because fruit is a cooling food. We can discuss that later. When you eat fruit early in the morning, it's easier for you to gain weight because that sugar is stored as fat when you don't burn it up in the morning. Unless you have a, uh, a regular exercise routine in the morning and you're burning that sugar up, don't eat it in the morning first thing. Eat it in the middle of the day when you're up and active and you can burn the sugar off. You understand now? So, if your body is alkaline like it's supposed to be, then you can eradicate cancer because cancer cannot scientifically naturally it cannot live in a uh what's my word again uh, how could i forget this uh, it lives in an acid environment it has to be in an alkaline environment you know what i meant and thank you for your patience but uh cancer cannot live in an alkaline environment it lives in a acidic environment it thrives in that environment Okay, so if you can eat foods that contribute to the alkalinity of your body's pH, more so than foods that are more acid or more acid causing even, you would be doing really, really well. You want to exercise on a regular basis. Uh, if you don't exercise on a regular basis, you might want to consider and then start exercising three to four times a week for about an hour at least. If you don't do anything else, make it half an hour. If you think an hour is too much, and then maybe build up to an hour. But exercise, we were designed to move around. And that's one of the other reasons, or possible reasons to people having constipation, inactivity, lack of drinking water, medication, using the bathroom improperly, trying to force your bowel out and you're straining the, uh, the muscles in the rectum. You're not supposed to do that. Your body, when food goes into the first opening in your mouth, you swallow it, it goes through the process of digestion and then assimilation and then out. 
It's that simple. So, if you have been diagnosed with cancer, I'm not telling you to kick your doctor to the curb. I'm not in a position to do that. You are a human being. You are a man or a woman. Listen to me right now. Make some big boy and big girl decisions in your life. Stop being a baby. Stop being a little child. Take control. Take control. Take charge of your life. Please do that. You owe it to yourself. Stop depending on someone outside of you to fix your problems. We should need doctors. We should need, uh, we should need police officers and fire personnel and emergency medical people and insurance people as minimal as possible. They're not supposed to dominate your life. You control your life or you're supposed to. Minimize the help that you receive from the outside and try to do as much for yourself as you possibly can and stop being a baby. So start eating right, eating the proper foods, getting the proper rest, getting the proper sleep. Stimulate your mind, read positive things and stop allowing people to discourage you. Stop allowing people to tell you what you can and cannot do. Stop allowing people to depress you or place you in that state of depression. You ladies that are having relationship problems, get away from that guy if he's killing your spirit and making you feel like you have low self-esteem. If he's talking down to you and talking about you, have a conversation with this man, even if it takes several conversations, and let him know in kind words that you're hurting me, that you're making me feel bad and think certain ways about myself. Let him know that. And if he's not willing to compromise, or if he's not, forget compromise, if he's not willing to stop abusing you verbally, psychologically, emotionally, get rid of that joker. And the same thing is true with you guys. If you have a woman that's always jumping on you when you haven't done anything wrong and you're trying to do the right things and you're not making enough money and she's always riding your back, sit down and have an intellectual conversation with her and say, honey, I'm doing the best that I possibly can. But make sure that you are doing the best that you possibly can. The relationship should be pretty even then. But if you're doing the best that you possibly can on either side, male or female, if you're doing the best that you possibly can and the other person still doesn't respect you or the other person is still degrading you, demeaning you, vilifying you, maybe they need to go as well. It's better to be alone and have peace of mind than, than to be in a home with someone that's keeping you stressed out and then ultimately what's going to happen is that you're going to have some health problems and then you're going to be out of here. So you deserve better than that. I know I'm talking. I know I jumped around a little bit. But this is Brother Teacher. I care about you. I love you. All of you all that are watching my videos, whether you be new or somebody who subscribed a long time ago, I love you. And I want to help you in any capacity that I possibly can. So don't fall for the okie doke. You got one go at this thing called life. Make the best of it while you are here and enjoy it run with it run with the baton it belongs to you it is yours you can have glory you can have joy today you can have anything that you want on planet earth on god's green earth if you want it do you want to really be happy or are you just satisfied you just complacent you just have accepted what life has dealt you so to speak you don't have to be you don't have to be satisfied or complacent you can have the gold. You can have the cream of the crop. You can have the cherry on top of the float. Anything that you want is within your own grasp. You just haven't realized that that was the truth. You just didn't believe it. But believe it now. All right. Yahweh loves you. And I love you. And I will see you in the next video. And if you have any concerns, whatsoever please leave me a question concerning that concern in the comment section below and I will respond with you in as early um, a time as I possibly can all right brother teacher and I'm out